Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video of Facebook marketing course, I'm going to teach you how to generate leads using Messenger in Facebook ads. Well guys, I'm going to show, show you a proper step-by-step -step method on how to create a campaign where you can generate leads using Facebook Messenger application, right? And it is very useful sometimes and it drastically increases the quality of your leads. But the thing is, it doesn't work with every industry. So you have to check whether leads which are coming from messenger application is useful for your industry or not. So you can try running this campaign and check out yourself. So let's directly get into the campaign creation process without any further ado. So guys, as you can see, we are into our Facebook ads account. Now, in order to create a campaign, obviously we have to click on this create button. So let's just click on create button. And if we scroll a little bit down here, we have to select our objective, which is leads, right? Hit the continue button and it is creating a campaign. And yeah, we are into our campaign creation process. So first step, you can name your campaign, whatever the name you want to add, you can add it here. So let's write lead gen and here I can write messenger and then date, right? So this is the na name I have given to this campaign. After this, you don't have to do anything here. As you can see, AB test is off right now and the ad advantage campaign budget is also turned off. But if you want, you can turn it on. This is the CBU if you know about this, right? We have already explained about this uh, advantage campaign budget in our previous videos. If you don't know, you can check out the previous videos, right? Now, here you can set the campaign budget whatever the budget you have you can set it here let's say uh, i want to spend 1600 rupees which is around 20 dollars and this is my daily budget right so i'll be spending 20 20 dollars on a daily basis right and this is the campaign strategy bid strategy we have is highest volume if you want you can change it to anything else as well right cost per result this is up to you then if we uh, click on more options then you get only one option which is not editable as you can see here and this is add scheduling option so everything is done here just hit the next button and let's get into the ad set level right here you can name the ad set level as well so here i'm adding lead ad set and here i'm writing messenger and again date right so this is the ad set name i have given after this, in conversion part, you have to select the messenger because obviously we are running messenger ads, right? Our ads will going to uh, run on Facebook's messenger application. So yes, we have to select this. After this, we have performance goal option. You can't do any changes here. So you don't have to do anything. You have to here. You have to select the page where ads will going to run. So page has already been selected now here you can set your cost per result goal. But the thing is the bidding strategy we have chosen is highest volume and in highest volume bidding strategy, we can't set our cost per goal, right? So if you want to add your cost per goal, if you have that, uh, this could be my uh, cost per goal, let's say it is $1, $2, you have that idea in your mind. So you can change the bidding strategy and you can change, uh, basically you can add the cost per goal here, right? After this, if you click on show more options, you get one more option, which is when you get charged. So it is impression based and you can't do this any do any changes here. Right. After this, we have budget and schedule option here. You can schedule your campaign and the budget we have already set on a campaign level. As you know, we have turned on the CBO campaign budget optimization. That's why. Otherwise, if you turn that option off, you will be able to see the budgeting option here right on an ad set level but he, right now we do have only one option which is ad scheduling if you want to schedule let's say you just want to uh, approve this campaign right now and don't want to run this campaign from today right so you what you can do is you can uh, schedule the campaign let's say you just want to run this campaign after two days so you can add the date start date and if you want you can add the end date as well in show more option you get one more thing add set spending limit so you can add a ad set spending limit if you want right so this is the option you get here ad set spending limit right now in audience 
I've already shown you that how to use audience, how to create audience, how to use custom audience, lookalike audience. I've already shown you. So I don't think uh, I have to again explain you about these things. So if you don't know how to use these custom audience, how to create one, how to use lookalike audience, you can watch our previous video in the same playlist. We have given you the playlist description, uh, playlist link in the description box below as well. So you can check out, right? After the audience section here, you can set the location. So if you want to change it, you just have to click on edit button and here you can change the location. Right now it is set on India. If you want, let's say you want to run ads on United States. So you can search here directly, right? And once United States appears, just hit the left button, mouse's left button on it and the United button, sorry. United States has been selected but right now I just want to run ads on India and now here we do have some demographic demographical things like age gender so this is totally depends on your business type business nature that who is your target audience let's say if it is a digital marketing business where we sell digital marketing courses so for that I'll be going to select from the age bracket of 18 to 40 max 40 or 35 right so this is the age bracket I'm going to select for this example, I'm going to select 18 to 40, right? This is the age bracket and I don't have any gender preference. Any gender can do a digital marketing course, can pursue a digital marketing course, right? After this, we have detailed targeting options. So you can do your targeting from here as well. So it is totally up to you whether to choose a custom audience or your detailed targeting option. So this is totally up to you, right? Now, after doing your targeting, we have one language option if you want basically let's say you just want to uh, target only english speaking audience so you can select the language as well right after this we have placements so in placements we do have two options advantage plus placement which is recommended one and this is manual placement so if you have run your ads earlier so you might know that uh, my ads are working well in few platforms basically few placements so you can manually choose those placements if you select this option right let me show you as you can see on a device basis you can select either phone mobile phone or desktop so it, these two options you get on a device basis right and then platform basis you get four options facebook instagram messenger audience network so from where you want your leads you can select those platforms right earlier in my previous videos i have told you already that uh, audience network doesn't work well for me but it is not like that it will not gonna work for you as well so it is totally up to you whether to select audience network or not right so in this example i'm selecting all the platforms and if i scroll a little bit down here you can select the placements as well that uh, my ad doesn't work on work well on stories so you can turn off the stories like this or you can just turn off your specific platform stories let's say you just want to run your stories on instagram so you can turn others off like this right but right now i am turning all the on right now after placements if you scroll a little bit down here you get show more options so in show more options you also here you also get few more customization options like devices and let me show you if I click on edit button so here you get devices on an operating system basis so if you want to go just with Android devices you can select this one and if you want to go with iOS devices you can select here as well right even if you want to just target devices which are connected with Wi-Fi you can check this box right but right now I'm unchecking so these are the options you get in your manual ad placements so after doing this after doing all your placement settings and cust customizations and audience targeting you just have to hit the next button and we'll be into our ad level so here you can again name this ad so let me write lead ad messenger and here I'll be adding date again, right? So this is my style or you can say my type of naming the campaigns, ad sets and ads, but it depends on you that how you name your campaigns, right? After this, you have to select your properties. As you can see, Facebook 
page has been already selected and here you have to select your Instagram account. So you can select this, otherwise you can connect other one as well. Any other you want to connect, you can do that as well, right? Now here we have to set up our advertisement, right? So here we do get uh, two options like what you want to choose single image or video or any carousel. So we are right now we are going with single image or video. After scroll a little bit down here, you have to add that creative whether it is image or video. So let me just Im uh, add one image. Let me find it in my account. Yeah, let's choose this one. Hit the next button. And here you can see the placements. Your ad is going to look like this, right? If you want to show your original size, you can do like this. Otherwise, you can replace the image as well with this uh, proper size, 9 ratio 16. Right. Otherwise, you can choose the recommended size. Hit the next button and this will be added into your account. Right. As you can see, hit the done button and this is added. Now, after this, if you scroll a little bit down here, you have to add your primary text, headline and description. By default, in Messenger ads, you will be able to see headline chat in Messenger. So this is the by default headline. If you want, you can change it. Right. And here you can add the primary text. So whatever the primary text you want to add, you can add it. Uh, right now I'm adding demo, demo and demo. Right. This is the primary text I have given. And in the description box, I'm adding the same thing so that we can save time. And in headline, I'm leaving the default line, which is chat and messenger. Right. And here after the ad creation, here you get one more uh, important option which is send people to chat with another page right so if you turn this option on you have to select any another page where you would like to chat with the uh, audience or where you would like to chat with the people who are coming from your ads right so you can select that page if you have multiple pages in your account and you want to add any other specific destination page so you can turn this option on but right now I'm turning off because I do have only one page in my account and which I'm using to run this ad, right? Now the call to action will be send message. If you want, you can change it. But obviously send message is the suitable one. And after this, you can create a message template where you can create uh, automated messages like a chatbot. So what you can do is you can add some questions, some multiple answer type questions. So it is good to create because it helps you to enhance the quality of your lead. So let just let's just click on the create button. And this is how your chat will be looking like, as you can see here. So let's start with the welcome message. So welcome message will be looking like this. Hi, Saurabh, where the, here the name of the recipient will be right. And this is the message. If you want, you can change it as well. Right after this, after welcome message, there will be a series of few questions which you can add. Right. So the first question question is, are you interested in our product or services? If you want, you can change it. Otherwise, you can leave it. Now, the answer to this question is yes or not now. Right. So if the user answer it with yes then it will jump into the next question otherwise if the user answer it with not now then it will be a disqualification and question might get repeat again it is totally up to you that what you want to do right as you can see disqualification people who choose this op uh, this answer go directly to the disqualification message they do not count as leads right so it's totally up to you that what you want to add the questions and what you want to add the answers, right? Now, if you want to add few more options, you can do that. And after this custom question, you can scroll a little bit down and here you can ask the city as well. Like what is, what city do you live in? So here you get two options, the answer validation option and allow to skip. So if you check this box, so the user will be allowed to skip this question and if you uncheck this box so the user have to answer this question and the answer validation means if facebook's algorithm doesn't able to find the city name on the internet then it will ask again the question so 
it is totally up to you if whether you want to turn on the answer validation or not right after that you can add few more questions like these these are the questions you can add custom question you can ask for the number email address or living address whatever the uh, questions you want to add you can add it right after this here we have completion message that thank thanks for answering your question our questions will contact you to let you know what happened next like this this is the message a kind of thank you message right you can change it according to your business nature right and then you can add the attachments as well after this message like you can add the website link you can add the promo code it is totally up to you like uh, you can offer them a promo code as a reward of doing this small survey kind of thing so you can offer that and here you have to upload the C csv file of that promo code right otherwise you can add the website link as well right as you can see here you have to add the button like click here and here you have to add the url like let me just copy our website and paste it here right so this is how you can do it after the disqualify this is the disqualification message if the person disqualifies if the user who answers wrong then this will be the message thanks for your interest but it doesn't look like we are a same good fit at this time right so this is the disqualification message then we do have privacy policy so here you have to add the link to your privacy policy page so you can add the privacy policy page of your website or you can separately create a privacy policy page as well right i've already shown you how to create one basically you can uh, use any privacy policy generator which is free on google and you can copy the data basically you can create a privacy policy from those free generators and you can copy that data and paste it into your doc file right and then so right now i'm doing just i'm copying our website's privacy policy page just to show you right so i'm going down here and here we do have privacy policy page just clicked on this copy the link and paste it here right so this is how you can create your template hit the save now it is asking please read and accept meta's lead term before creating your ad so obviously you have to do this we are creating uh, this type of ad for the first time in this account so you have to agree with the terms and conditions right now hit the save button and boom your automated chat has been created here right now if i scroll a little bit down here you see some tracking settings where you can set some trackings you can set your url parameters so this is not so important right now but if you want to uh, add your url parameters you can add it there is no any big deal for that right so this is how you can create your campaign for lead generation which will give you a good amount of lead and the quality will be also good because people are landing on your messenger and after landing they are tackling some questions they are answering those questions and if the lead or if the person is qualified then it is counted as a lead so there is a high chance that your lead quality will drastically increase after running this type of campaign right so after this just publish the campaign and you will be good to go right now we don't have funds in this account that's why it is asking to add funds obviously so i hope you understood the video i hope you understood the process and if you like this video please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video with your needy friends who want to learn facebook marketing we have whole playlist on facebook marketing you can share the playlist as well with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye